Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. I'm Lawrence Ifine. In this video, I'll be guiding you through a step-by-step -step method on how you can translate 1688 app. Okay, how you can translate 1688 app into a readable English language. Okay, as we all know that uh, 1688 app cannot be translated in the sense that it does not have an inbuilt translator like the Google Chrome app has. Okay, the Google Chrome browser has. That one has an inbuilt uh, translator which can translate the 1688 website from Chinese language to English language. But when you are using um, the 1688 app, it's difficult to translate because it does not have an inbuilt translator. We all know that this particular website or this particular app is meant for Chinese people. But in this video, I'll be showing you how you can translate it into a readable English language. Okay. Now, before we go into the video proper, I would want to explain a few things before we move on. Now, um, the few things I want to explain here is the reason why you need 1688 app and uh, the need for translating 1688 app. Now, one of the reasons why you need 1688 app, why you need to install it into your smartphone is to... Um, make it easy for you to find product videos yes if you are using or if you are browsing 1688 with google chrome browser you hardly find product videos when you are using the chrome browser okay but when you are using um 1688 app it is easy for you to find videos because it displays product videos okay Except when you are using um, Chrome browser on the um, on the laptop or on your PC, that's the only time you can also find product videos. But we're talking basically for smartphones. If you are using Chrome browser to um, access 1688 website, you can't find product videos. So one of the importance of 1688 app is to enable you or to help you find product videos which you can download to help you promote your product okay now what is the need for translation the need for translation you and i knows this is written in chinese language and we need to as foreigners we need to translate it into a readable format a readable english language which we can read and understand so that we can go through descriptions without leaving the app okay and it also makes it easy for you to chat your chinese suppliers outside the wechat without the wechat if you don't have a wechat account 1688 app is another app you can use to communicate to your chinese suppliers easily and efficiently okay then with this you don't need to copy and go to uh, google translate it's a whole waste of time but with this method you can communicate to your chinese suppliers uh, smoothly and uh, easily using the 1688 app okay now with that said let's go quickly into the video what you just need to do is to open google play store okay just open your google play store you need to download a software okay you need to download an app which is called high dictionary okay you need to download high dictionary okay you can see it you can see it already you just tap you can see it here high dictionary just tap on it to open it okay then on this page you just need to install click on install okay click on install to install it To install it is installing now so wait for it to download and then install we'll keep watching here as it installs 21% is moving is around 9.67 MB it doesn't have is not a large file okay we'll just be patient and allow it to um, download and then install into our smartphone okay installation complete now we can see 
we can see so we need to now we need to click on open we need to click on open okay click on open to open the app so that we can be able to give it some permissions it needs okay now on this page you need to tap on this white arrow tap on this white arrow here okay to get to the next page now on this page you see we have two options one here said accessibility and the other one permit drawing over other apps i'll explain now what this means accessibility it needs to assess um we need to give it rights in our phone to be able to read files and uh, softwares from our phone we need to give it permission then the second one here where it says permit draw over um other apps so that it will have right to access information it sees or it comes across on other softwares okay so we need to click on accessibility click on accessibility to open it okay here you need to tap anywhere around the screen tap anywhere around the screen then locate high dictionary here we need to um locate high dictionary we need to locate high dictionary and click on it while the window opens we look at the top bar here where you have this button click on it to enable it now on this page just click on ok ok now you need to go back click on this little small arrow and go back ok click on it you need to go back again because we are done with this particular page click on this arrow again and go back okay now we need to give the second permission by clicking on draw over other apps we need to click on it click on it okay in the next page we need to turn on the green button and then come back again to this page so let's quickly do that i'll click on it i'll turn on this and i'll go back okay now everything is set okay it takes you to this page now on this page you need to click on this x here and close this window to give you access to other ones so on this page then you need to click on this white glowing button click on it click on it to turn it on to green it's on now now if you watch closely you see let me show you you see there's a white arrow behind it let me shift that this icon now let me shift it let me adjust it down okay you are seeing this icon this icon is actually indicating that the high dictionary or high translate is actually on that's what we'll be needing okay now before we go ahead we need to do one other option we need to download chinese language package on this app okay why do we need to download it we, we download it so that it can enable us to do translations even without the internet connection okay so to do that we need to click on this icon down here you need to click on this icon down here okay you need to click on it it takes us to this page now on this page you locate offline mode locate offline mode and click on it now on this page you need to go down these are supported languages you need to download but we need chinese so you need to go down down now you can see where chinese is down 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 okay you can see where chinese is so we need to click on this blue icon to start downloading the language okay click on the blue icon it takes you to this page click on download download okay choose cellular data or if you are using a Wi-Fi, you choose Wi-Fi and then click on download. It will start downloading. Okay. You watch here. You see that the download process is uh, going on. Okay. We allow it to download completely. Okay. Now, the download is complete. Okay. The download is complete. If you watch closely down, you will not find uh, down where Chinese appeared. You won't see the Chinese um, language pack again. 
but let's go up you will see it if you look at the top here you will see that the chinese language pack has been downloaded completely okay so we are set to go okay we'll go back so what do we need to do next we we'll, we we'll need to open 1688 app we need to open 1688 app we'll click on 1688 app click on it to open now we are on the 1688 app okay so for us to start the translation for us to start the translation before we start that you must find out or make sure that this icon is still displaying there's a small icon which i showed you when we installed the app when we are configuring the app this icon here it will display anywhere around your screen that shows that uh, the icon the um high translate or the high dictionary is actually on and ready to read over other applications okay so let me quickly show you let me open one of my charts with uh, one of my suppliers let me open my chart i'll click on this symbol here this icon here where you have 31 i'll click on it to open my charts okay it's open now so let me just look for any charts at all these are conversations i've been having with uh, some of my chinese suppliers okay now let me just click on anyone let's say this one let me click and open it okay now it's open let's try to translate let me i just want to show you how efficient this app is now click on that the white icon i showed you click on it it will show you um it will pop up this window okay now there's two ways you can use this app you can translate individually or you can translate the whole page okay if you want to translate the whole page on this pop-up you just need to click on global translation click on global translation and you'll see the magic happen to translate everything on this page Can you see you can see the magic now it has translated virtually everything on the page okay it has translated so this is one of the ways you can translate 1688 app okay either by using global translate or you can turn it off and then translate the um conversation individually by clicking and holding on this icon and then hovering it over any of the conversation you wish to translate just click and hold it there you move down click and hold it will just be doing the translations one after the other okay you can see okay so this is one of the ways you can translate 1688 app now when you have this app in your phone it makes it easy for you to communicate to your chinese suppliers in the sense that okay now i want to chat this supplier I can open up my keyboard, tap on, on this box to chat the Chinese supplier and turn on my translation. Turn on my translation. I'll be doing a video on this, how you can use your keyboard without copying and pasting with your um, copying and pasting on Google Translate to chat Chinese suppliers. Now here I'll type on English while um, this keyboard translate. I can say hi. And automatically it sends it in Chinese language. Okay. As translated, I'll say hi. So with this option, I don't need to be copying um I don't need to be copying message and going to Google Translate to translate and come back. It takes time. This is the easiest and simplest way you can um and fastest way you can communicate to your Chinese suppliers. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and turn on the notification 
bell so that you get notified each time i post new videos okay don't forget to like and share this video okay stay tuned for more videos